What I would say is people should invest in their imaginations. That right now, we are in a really, really interesting point in time where our science and our technology have progressed to the point where what we build is only limited by our imaginations. And so what I tell people when it even comes to businesses, what's holding Americans back is imagining a far better future, a radically better future than we have today. Uh, credit cards and credit card debt in college, the managing that credit card debt, as I think with most, most young people, is, yeah. is, is, was, a, was a, a very good um, first lesson. I seek out really, really old books, and really, I seek out old books about the future. I love looking at what people thought the future would be like. Like some people, even like Isaac Asimov, who is a huge hero of mine, who thought about the future. He had some really good ideas and things that had actually happened. He also thought we'd all be living underground by this time. What people think the future is going to look like tells us a lot more about today than they do about the future. There's this notion that the future will happen to you, right? That, that, that the future is coming at you like a spider monkey and you've got to prepare yourself to deal with that future. And that's not true at all. The future isn't an accident. The future is made every day by the actions of people and we make our future. So what I would go back to my 18-year-old self to say is, well, what kind of future do I want? Interesting. Okay. I would also have told my 18-year-old self, yeah. you're going to be very bald and it's going to be okay. <laughs>